Next question is from Scotty's Hobbies. What are your top two current hobbies? <laughs> top two current hobbies? <laughs> he's, in, he's really into hobbies. Does it, I mean, does anything count? Because I feel like a hobby is like something that people accept. That's a hobby. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Well, like I mean, collecting stamps? Yeah, yeah. you know, oh, stuff like, like that. I could see you doing that. I did I when I was a kid. I, yeah. Of course. I did. I, I, think, like, I, think they're, I think they're leaning because they're saying current right now, like because of COVID-19, are yeah. there certain things that like you're getting into or you're doing that's like kind of like- I admitted a, I was puzzling quite a bit. You, you have really? been, you have a, been puzzling puzzler. a lot. Yeah. Are you still puzzling? I'm still puzzling, but you know, the problem is you can't order any, like they're all off the shelves. Everybody had the same idea. No know? way. I'm, yeah. They're like, I'm stuck at home. I got nothing to do. Uh, so I haven't been able to get any new ones that are, that are awesome. So I mean, there's biz business uh, potential there. So how, hold on. How much time do you do this? Like, how, like, what do you do? You come home, do your thing, and then you sit down and just start doing yeah, a puzzle? Yeah, usually, well, uh, I usually do it when my kids are, are doing their homework. And so I'm sort of at the table puzzling while they have questions so I can answer their questions and kind of help them through maybe some troubleshooting of, of what they need to be doing. And then I'm just like, you know, hunting for all these like, you know, shapes and things. I don't know. Dude, th there's something zen about it. <laughs> You're such an old man. It's, it's, it's very zen. I put my glasses on, you know, I got my blue blocker. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm in there just, just, you know, fixated on it. You know why? Because... Uh, like I love you guys and everything, but like I need to decompress. Like just people talking. Yeah, I just it, for me like I'm I've 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 like two different operating uh you know gears, and, and one of them is like okay I'm on let's go 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 go, and then the other one is like don't come near me. Yeah, yeah, and so I definitely that used to be my go to for everything. Now I'm like okay I need to be on more. Dude, so. We we drove just in the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, he did. He <laughs> drove me into puzzling. He's not lying either, because the last two times we've been in Tahoe, that's been his thing. Like, wow, I know, I've seen him do it hours over there. I know. What do you now? What is it? Which one are you doing now? Is it like? Is it cats? Is it like buildings? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know what? No, it's like uh, it's Coke bottles. So there's uh, all these like old nostalgic Coke. Coca-Cola, like, uh, uh, um, anyway, marketing stuff, material. So I'm putting it all together. I'm like halfway through right now, but uh, I do that. And then I also, I jam on my guitar. That's, that's always been, uh, another big hobby of mine is to just tinker away. And, and I'm not, and I haven't really been one to learn songs cause I don't know. I just, I guess I'm, I'm just rogue, uh, like that, <laughs> but I, I've always tried to create my own songs and like, uh, write my own, uh, you know, uh, to, to work on because I just get I feel inspired sometimes I just hear hear it in my head and then I just go try and figure it out but I've lately I've been learning uh, a lot of everybody else's songs Stone Temple Pilots you know Sublime like oh, Beatles awesome. and so I've been playing those for the kids and of course everybody likes that because it's like they know the song already yeah. you know and I was like oh dad ew, that's play way that one again that's way better than the other one you made yeah I'm like dude stupid. nobody likes my real song dude you, you know? just reminded me of something I totally forgot up until now when I was so the fastest I've ever done a puzzle in my entire life you ready for the story mm. was sixth grade went over my friend's house do you guys ever had that friend whose parents were never home he was like a feral child yeah do whatever the fuck you wanted right? what, so yeah. the only reason why I was friends with this kid is because I could go to his house what and they, they call were, the key uh, latch, key. latch, key. latch key, key yeah like it was no, no rules like I'd go to his house we'd like drink sodas and eat yeah. pizza anyway he found his dad's puzzle porn stash there's such a thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We found- My head just exploded. No, no. There was a box of puzzle pieces, and I guess he never paid attention, but one day I went, he, we were at school, and he's like, dude- Puzzle porn. Dude, my dad's got a puzzle that's <laughs> naked ladies, you know, because that's what you used to say when you were sixth grade, right? Wow. I remember this is before the internet. So I went you to find his- find like one- Oh, there's a nipple. Yes. Let's I went to his house, there. and we go through this box of like a thousand pieces. <laughs> like a thousand oh, piece puzzle he did like a yes, half hour. bro. And we're looking for the <laughs> piece with is the- Is this dirt or is this bush? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We're looking for the piece that has the nipple or whatever, and we're like, oh my God. So we did this whole puzzle in like the fastest time you've ever seen your oh, entire life. That well, that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that is totally hilarious. Sense. Yeah, what so about what's your, you guys? Uh, you know, I, I, I feel bad because I don't have a really good answer for this and I and I typically do have some hobbies I'm doing. If it's basketball or listening to music, or I I, I can geek out on things. But right now, the, the two main things that I think consume my time, uh, and I, and it's boring for people to probably hear. One of those is uh, our business. I mean, I look at our business as a hobby too. Like it's I love it that much that. 
I and I and I know Doug can relate to this. Of course, he, he's going to give an answer. Yeah, like that. I know. Well, yeah. and I know Doug can relate to this because <laughs> Doug will be up at the same crazy hours as I am, and yeah. he's listening to similar audio books and digging well, you through. are like Rain Man with the numbers. So, I yeah. and I I like that stuff. It's yeah. and it's therapeutic for me. Yeah. So I I I don't know why that is, but I love to look at analytics and I like to look at other businesses and compare numbers and it just. For some weird reason, that is uh, like a hobby and very and and I don't feel like oh I'm working so that was I'm not searching for a badge of honor yeah, yeah. of like I work for fucking twenty hours a day no I like it's a hobby for me like I really love to do it when I find downtime uh, when I'm not with Max this is the type of stuff that I'm doing right now I just enjoy it that much and then the other thing that that I, I don't know if it is considered like a hobby but you know I'm really trying to. Um, like I want to make sure that I have like these really cool things that I can look back 10, 15 years uh, with, with my son. And so, you know, I, I spent a lot, I actually spend quite a bit of time, like the way I put together his Instagram. Uh, I, I do, I have a little camcorder and I'm, I'm videoing him and I'm, and I'm actually like timing it like separate, like so that you can see phases. Oh, we, congratulations, by the I way. He's know, crawling. He's crawling, man. Yeah. I saw that video. Yeah. That's so man. great. Dude, he had, so and you guys obviously know this because you have kids, but it was so trippy to me. So he had, we just had this crazy two weeks uh, uh, run with him where he had Rosella. He had a uh, 104 fever. He was teething. He had a rash and he had an ear infection and also was growing through a growth spurt, like all in 14 days. And so yeah. it was like, it was literally a night. I looked at Katrina, I was like, no way we're having another one. Like, no, <laughs> there's nothing you could say right now that could convince me to have it. Yeah, that was the storm. It oh, just it, came out nowhere. it was. And just every day I was like praying for my my poor son to feel better because he's really a happy baby. And mm -hmm. he and for the most part, uh, I don't think there's such thing as an easy child, but he was he's, he's relatively easy in comparison to what I see a lot of people go through. And the only time he's hard is if he's not feeling well. And so I, my heart breaks to watch him go through this. Then he just a couple of days ago, like three days ago, I felt like it, he kind of made it through all of it. Like it's all long gone and none of it's really bothering him. And it he he went from wearing uh, 12 month old to 18 month old uh, clothes. He's super strong and wrestling back with me. Like I can feel him fighting against me and resisting me. He started crawling. His communication is like triple what it was. It was the, know, in so 48 hours. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing ever, but yeah. so cool. Like he's so, he's so fun right I now. I wish we could still do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Make, <laughs> make leaps like, like that. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. But that's, so I, that's it. That's how, by the way, that, that documentary on Netflix explained that. Kids don't grow consistently. Yeah. They they don't grow, they don't grow, and then all of a sudden, boom, they grow like within a matter of a day or two. And I totally felt like I, I saw one of those, or felt one of those massive leaps for him. But that, I mean, so he's a lot of my hobby right now. Like I, I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying being a father. I'm really enjoying, and I'm ve trying to be very mindful of I didn't have a father. And so... I'm trying to think about all the things that I missed out on and I want and like I feel like this is my gift, right? I get to have this kid and now I get to relive with him all the things that I wish I had. So I'm constantly thinking of that stuff. Like I, mm -hmm. I don't have any footage or photos or I would love to look back at him and I. Like none, I don't have any of that, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's a lot on my mind. And I'm always trying to be, I'm not very organized, so I'm trying to be more organized about it. So, and I know that it'll pay off you know, 10 years from now when I get to look back at it with him. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a hobby for yeah, me right now. That's a good hobby. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, so I feed starving children when I... Uh, <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> <laughs> gotta one-up your... Yeah, yeah, you gotta no, you know, my step it up. The number one hobby that I have is the one that I've had since I was 14. Since the, the day I first uh, lifted weights, I fell in love with the way it felt. And you guys know this, I just I never stop. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the It's my favorite thing in the world to do. Love the way it feels. I like the time I spend either by myself or working out with someone else. It doesn't matter what gym I'm in. It could be a hotel. It could be in my garage. It could be anywhere. I, I guess just, I'm the only one that does other things. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so that's that's always going to be my number one hobby. And then yeah. this, the second thing is, again, something that I've enjoyed for a long time, which is I love going on social media and reading other experts talk about subjects that I want to learn about. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most – it's one of the most effective – learning tools that I've ever stumbled across. And if, if you're listening right now, this is, it's really, really cool. This is what you do, okay? You go on Facebook. Facebook's a great place to do this. 
you, you, you ask for an invitation to a group, whatever group you want to learn from. So neuroscience is one, right? So you type in the search you know, bar, neuroscience, you find some groups that have you know, 500 people, 1,000 people, whatever. Ask for an invitation. Sometimes they let you in right away. And now you're in this group, and most of the people in the group are people who are either PhDs or students or neuroscientists. And then there's a small group of people that are just interested in the subject. But the vast majority of the people in there are experts on that subject. Now, why is this cool? Well, they post new and upcoming studies and articles before they become mainstream news or ones that don't even become mainstream news. But that's not the cool part. The cool part is they'll post an article and then the this is how I learn. I'll read the article, really cool, but then I read the comments and I read these scientists and doctors or whoever debating and discuss, discussing what happened in the article. There's, I have, there's nothing that I found that gets you to learn better and faster because what I get from that is an education that's coming from other experts who know way more than I do debating and discussing points within the article that I never would have even noticed where they're breaking down the the study controls or they're talking about, well, that doesn't apply because this other study showed this and, well, what about that? And it's like really, really fascinating. Every once in a while, when I feel confident, I'll throw in a challenging statement, not because I want to challenge somebody, but because I want to get their reply to see how they'll reply to a question that I have. And it's just Something that I've done now for a while. I love. I love doing it. I just want to point out that that's the same shit that I just said. I mean, it's just a different. <laughs> what, what? Part, it's just a different part of our business. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I find the the analytical side, sure, and sure. then and you're the science side of this sure, house. Of this sure. house. So sure. you were just giving me shit about yeah. that answer, but you just pumped your own fucking tires about well, what you contribute to the business right now <laughs> is your fucking hobby. Yeah. If, if, so, I, if I said it like this. Uh, yeah, I like to research for mind pump. Mind pump research. No, I, I, you know, it's I re- mean that's what it is, yeah. though. Let's no, be no. honest. I, yeah. I, it's really cool because I, I think what what, uh, what what really why we enjoy what we do so much is because uh, we got to do something that we love to do, truly yeah, love to do. For sure. Because let's be honest, if 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 we were all you know didn't have to work and made tons of money or whatever. We would probably find time to meet with each other at least a couple days a week to sit down yeah. and talk about mind shit pump like this. puzzles coming your way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah.